Be honest. When did you have your last physical fight? And I mean, like, not with like, boom or nothing. <laughs> Why not? That counts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like another girl, like that another lady. Who else you have to like? That nigga counts. <laughs> counts. He counts more than everybody. <laughs> that nigga. Goomba. Come on, not on condone men on women. Violence when I can't help it. I don't even want to hear uh, about it. Listen to me. That doesn't make it less real. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you know, all my life, I've had to fight. Yeah, but that doesn't make it less real. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You know, all my life, I had to fight. Oh, um, that's true. Oh no. Oh no. That's true. Oh no. What is that? Oh, here we go. What's it? Oh, what's it? Uh -huh. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. You got yeah, I got right. You got and I wrote in jail. Oh. oh. They gave you a picture? I, I got one from uh, one of the trustees. Oh, yeah. You, I, I bought it for an autograph. They wouldn't give me no paper. I couldn't buy no commissary, so I couldn't buy anything. So I tricked them into giving me the handbook. That was on the tablet that they wouldn't give me and print it all out. That's smart. Every page. That's smart. And that's I made my own notepad. No, that's smart. That's smart. Give it's me the whole handbook. It's literally written on, on both yeah. your Macs. Yeah, give me the whole handbook. Yeah, yeah. That's smart. <laughs> that's smart. That's smart. Yeah. This was for, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I would like to read this. It's a poem that I wrote for my husband after I realized he had sold me out. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Change. oh, yeah, no, that's. Oh, yeah. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Told me today they had it all okay. right. Yeah, man, we, we definitely. Hand me down, and that's a fact. But now you pumped. It's, it's time you wrote... to get ready wait, you wrote... for that big thing back. You wrote it in... <laughs> I'm about to say you wrote an important for form. Yeah, it's, it's called You, Your Pride, and the PlayStation. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going through it because I want to you know, read it on camera. You, your pride in the your play, you, your and your PlayStation. And, PlayStation. and it goes as such. I just read through it real quick. Yeah, then, oh, here it is. Doing that PlayStation. Just as weak as she'll ever see me and still the strongest I'll ever be. Whoa. Admitting I love you out loud and silently still hating you equally. Fuck you for making me love you. When clearly for you it was all a game. Guess I upped the ante when I chose to take your name. My surname was already perfect. I was right the day I was born. Yet, I took Johnson, and you weren't even John's son. Just another little lost boy scorned. The temper tantrums and the outrage stem from not knowing who you truly are, and fuck you for not believing me when, baby, I told you. You're a star. Ooh. It took a while, but we got there, slowly pulling them all in, one view at a time, then 100K. But mama say 15 words, and you threw it all away? My, 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 what can I say? Clearly appreciation doesn't run in your DNA. All I found there was jealousy, self-loathing, and calculated deceit, and a fuck ton of ske sketchy family history. And nowhere in sight, not one damn complete receipt. Now you hate me. Nigga, fuck you, I hate you right back. If you're leaving, then do it, gangster. Don't just run off to the first thing available, especially if that shit is whack AF. Now, it's just you, your pride in the PlayStation. What a cocktail of fuckery that be. Eight people sitting in your chat room, and seven of them saying how sad you look without me, nigga. I made you great. Shit, for real, for real, I made you a man. But when the going got tough, you just packed up your PlayStation and ran. I wish there were more positive things to say about a marriage I never wanted to go away, but really, what more can I say? What more can I say? When even now, God turns his head when you pray. <laughs> Hell, what else can I do other than walk away? You went from little Gerald to soldier to Goomba. And now all that's left is the lost legacy of Bobby Boucher. But we're still married, right? So you'll let me know when you're done. Dying on that game, right? Tell me how the fuck life with you was ever fun. You, your pride in the PlayStation. Dang. That's cold. The bar. Yeah, man. No, no, no. I wrote that in the hole. You're talking to Dang. At one point in time, I wanted to. 
funny thing is, is I had wrote a letter before I wrote this poem. Um, and then I got I a phone call from a blogger. Yeah. And I wrote this poem. It's curious because I want to ask you on camera, but we're going to talk about because, you know, yeah. well, we may involve it, but what I was going to say was uh, with Goomba, um, for four <laughs> years of marriage, um, do you feel like, uh, like, at the height, you know, y'all y'all was gonna be there forever or I remember you told me you had a five year evaluation. Five years. Yeah, five year evaluation man. Five years. And yeah. if it didn't work, then you part as friends. Still be family. Yeah. Um I wish I could say that it was a mistake. wasn't. I was going to kill myself that night. Yeah. He prevented that. He was going to kill himself 80 million other times. I prevented that. A lot of memories, a lot of moments. I don't regret it, but it's time for it to end. You know, I think people get confused at the way I handle and view life. I approach life very tactically. Um, very little that I do is done without absolute intention. <laughs> like literally, everything I do, I intend to do. Where did you learn how to be so intentional? My father. I was raised by the military. Is that real? Oh, so is that, did they have any attraction with Google? Well, of course, I trust, I trust veterans before I trust anybody. The truth is, is I prefer to be around killers. Right. And I prefer to be around killers who know they're killers. I don't understand why people have a problem with that. God is a killer. Right. And I love him. Do whatever he say. He killed millions. And I don't change about how I feel about him. No, I mean seriously. God says in the commandments, thou shalt not kill. You don't kill. You don't have to. Man, I'm the best killer in the world. <laughs> you don't need to do nothing. Best example of that. The most obvious and most people don't even recognize it. The flood. Which we know created the Pangea. Which separated the world. What's so interesting about that is that people hear the story of the flood and Noah, you know, got a message from God. God sent them some blueprints and he built this thing that nobody ever needed before. And then, you know, they laughed at him. They told him he was crazy out of his goddamn mind, even though he perfectly assembled some shit they never seen before. <laughs> right, right. Like nobody is even thinking about the fact that there weren't no large ships ever before the flood. Yeah. Every boat that we use now was based off of the technology that he received from the eagle and built this shit that never existed before. And these motherfuckers sitting there laughing at him rather than saying, God damn, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. How did you learn how to do that? And nobody asked that shit. They just called him a truck. Said he's crazy. Rain. It ain't never rained before, and then guess what? It rained. Said he's crazy. Fuck his rain. It ain't never rained before. And then guess what? It rained. Now I want y'all to think about that. Because people talk about the flood and they talk about how catastrophic it is, but they don't do it in detail. Everybody knew about the crucifixion, but until people saw passion of the Christ, motherfuckers really never got how cold blooded that shit was. Right. We hear a story, but without the details, it hit different. We're visual people. So let me give you the details of the flood, starting with a question. Have you ever seen anyone drown? In person? Yeah. No. Like in person? No. I have. Mm. I ain't never seen they body you. lock I up have. like they get like they got knocked I, I, out. I've seen water murder five people in my face. Yeah. Water. You you want to know? Like 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 
Let's think about that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna tell you what happens. You see the struggle. And then they body lock up. Once they're being overtaken by the water and they're taking water in, you hear the, the, the gasp, the strangle. Mm-hmm. You're literally listening to a human being strangle in front of you, knowing that water is doing it. It ain't shit that nobody can do to stop it. Right. How do you stop someone from drowning? The only thing you can do is save them. And if you don't get there in time, water, which we need to live. Have you ever seen a parent that lost their children in a drowning? go and shoot a pool of water for, for killing a child? Have you ever seen anyone say, my child drowned in a pool and I'm never drinking water ever fucking again ever in my life? What happens if you do that? You die. Right. Because you can't live without water. You can't cook without water. You can't wash your ass without water. Right. You need water. You need that shit. Right. So imagine what it feels like to a parent who's actually cognizant of the fact that they need and are drinking and are consuming what killed their child. <laughs> you surviving on your child's murderer. Damn. Because it was murder that killed him. It was water. Right. Water has no enemies. Or rivals. <laughs> now that, let's start there. Now I want.